Hello, and welcome to the second part of our audio tutorial series of videos. Uh, I said I was going to do this video months ago, and I just never got around to doing it, but I'm doing it now, because I've got a few more questions and comments and all that good stuff. Uh, if you missed the first video, the first video is all about how you hook up your mixer to your single or dual PC. So I'll put a link to that on screen. Now, this video is going to be about your OBS settings, your Windows settings, and more on the software side of things. Uh, these are most of the questions that I've had on the first video, so I thought I'd go over all that today. So let's jump right into it here. On screen, you'll see the OBS window. Now, I use OBS Studio. I just I like the features it has, and they're not updating the other one anymore. So uh, you can see I only have one audio input, and it's a microphone sort of input. Uh, this is because all of my control is on the mixer, right? So you have everything coming out of the mixer, and like you don't need the other uh, default uh, input. So you can see here it's a line in input. Uh, in my first video, I said you use the microphone input. It turns out microphone input actually has a preamp, and the line in input is more of an analog. It uses the actual signal. Um, this addressed an issue I was having with my mixer where the level... Uh, gauge wasn't working on it. Now it works because it wasn't. It was sending out a weaker signal because it it didn't need the whole signal. Uh, that's story for another time. So, yeah, you only use one need one input because your all your mixing is done on your mix mixing board like your hardware mixer rather than doing it in software like no BS. So you, like normally you'd have like multiple inputs and that acts as your mixer. Um, so we can jump right into the settings here. You see when I'm talking, this whole th this thing's moving, right? Uh, we can go to settings. We'll go audio. You see I've disabled everything else, and I just have the one, one input. This is my main out on my mixer, just to clarify that. Um, I had a question about the FX send. The FX send is only for sending just your voice. So you would use this for your Discord audio, like your whatever you're using, TeamSpeak, uh, your in-game communications, like voice chat. Uh, that's because it only sends your voice. If you use the other one, like the main out for that, it sends everything to your voice comms. So they, they would it'd be like holding a microphone up to a speaker. And yeah, they, they would hear gunshots and all that stuff. Um, so we can go back here. Let's see. Output. I got stream. These aren't my stream settings, but... Recording settings. These are the recording settings I use. Uh, I have different profiles set up for different things. I can't switch it because I'm recording, but um, I won't go over the, like your encoding settings because that's that's not something I can just give you. It, it seems to be something that everyone assumes is like, oh, I'll just copy someone else's settings. Like it, do it doesn't really work like that. It depends on your, your PC hardware, your internet connection, all that kind of stuff. Um, I can tell you that I use... Oh, Output oh, here. Uh, I usually use 2500 bitrate, faster. Uh, there's a setting here I use that says OpenCL equals true. This allows your video card to do, to take on a little bit of the encoding, so your CPU isn't uh, doing all of it. Or that's what it's supposed to do. I don't know. I don't know if it actually works. It seems to work. Um, so I got my scenes, my sources, all that good stuff, and that's pretty much it. Like, and this is for both single and dual PC. Like, I only use a single PC now. I used to have a dual PC set up, and this is what it looked like. You have one audio input. That's all you need. Unless you want to use, on your dual PC, you want to separate and use, like, your dual PC or your second PC for music or something. But I would bring it back to my mixer anyway and control it from there because then it's all in one place. I don't have to, like, minimize, go to software, blah, blah, blah. I can just leave my stream PC alone and just encode. So next we'll go over the window settings. Now, you can see here, so I have a microphone input, a line in input, a line in input, uh, where's the other one? Oh, the microphone input. So the way I've set mine up, I have a sound card and my motherboard built in, you know, the sound. Now I use the line inputs 
line in inputs, as I said before, because it uses the entire output of the, the mixing board. So it uses the whole signal. Um, so my line in input is for the, for the motherboard is my FX send uh, input. This is what I use for my voice or whatever. I just think it, it doesn't sound as good, so I just use it use the motherboard sound. Now my sound card, I have a line in input, and this is what my main main out goes to. Uh, I think it just has a better, you know, it's just just a better sound quality coming in in that way. Um, so I don't use the microphone input because of what I said before. Uh, we go to playback. I got my speakers for my sound card, and my speakers for my uh, motherboard. Uh, one is my Discord voice com, so I have separate control for that. If you know, if it's too loud, I can just turn it down. Or if I just want to mute that channel, I can just turn that down. And the other one's just my default sound. So I think this one's this one's my game. My default is my game sound. Uh, the reason that it's on the real tech and not my sound card, I think it has something to do with the way it, it flips the channels weird or it sounds funny, so I, I just went back to the other one instead of fighting with it. Uh, maybe I'll go back and fix that. It, I can't remember why I did it, but so yeah, this is your this is the whole thing. So we can go to properties here. Oh, it's not going to show up on OBS. We'll just go all well, the properties. I'll just explain the properties. I just have the levels maxed out for the line in because doesn't make a difference. You don't oops. You don't want to affect your uh audio at all. That way you just want to let it let the mixer have the output, let it max out whatever. I also need to have it that high because just the capabilities of my mixer without turning up you know maxing out the channels and the levels and that, it so it doesn't distort the signal. And that's pretty simple. Now on the screen you'll see this little bar here. This is called digital level meter. This is what I use a lot of the time to test, you know, what is my input actually at? This is, these numbers here are decibels. So your, when your signal comes in, it's coming in at this, these levels. Now, I just got a new microphone, so I'm still kind of tweaking the levels a little bit. Ideally, you want to be between negative 12 and negative 4. After that, you start to get some distortion. So you want your loudest, um sounds to be below zero once you start getting a little closer to that it starts getting you know you get like rrr, rrr, rrr. i don't really want to do it because it'll blow your eardrums out but like you get a really distorted sound so we're trying to avoid that uh this microphone is a little bit more quiet it's a dynamic microphone versus my other microphone which is a condenser microphone uh it's just i don't know I just bought a new one yeah that's that's basically it for windows that's that's all you need to know So that's it for this video. Uh, it was a little bit all over the place. There's not a whole lot going on with OBS. It's just you just put your mic input in and that's it. Everything is done with your mixer. Uh, if you have any specific questions, leave them in the comments below. If you have any specific topics you'd like me to cover, please put those in the comments below. And other than that, please rate, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.